Hi everyone, my name is Kelly. I own The Pet Biz in Vancouver, Washington, and we are starting a campaign and rally around my business to reopen it against the governor's orders. Uh, we believe it's unconstitutional and the state of Washington is no longer in a state of emergency. So I'm rallying together with uh, many people that are coming from Seattle to Salem to round out about around the business down here in orchards in Vancouver, Washington. It's a very beautiful spot that I have my store. I'll tell you my story. I've been grooming for about 37 years. I've had grooming shops from the Dells to Portland to Vancouver now. I've had mobile grooming and I love the industry. I love the animals and the people. I opened this salon particularly um, March 17th and I was closed down five days later because of the COVID virus. Now that we've been told we would be able to open two weeks after they closed us, it extended to a month and then it extended to another month. Now they're, they extended it to May 31st and again talking clear past 4th of July. This is unconstitutional. My business license is a contract with the state that um, I'm able to operate business. It costs money for that license and they have breached their contract with the citizens of the state of Washington, shutting them down. And if we open, they threaten to take our license. So in the process of learning about the constitution and my bill of rights, I am mailing my state license back to uh, Olympia with a letter stating they broke a paid contract. Therefore, I am no longer under obligation to rule my business under their laws. I'm going to open my business I know that it's possible I could be fined, arrested, and what have you, and all the things that, that go along with this. I am not afraid of the government. I'm not afraid of the fines or the being arrested. What I am afraid of is if I don't stand up and be the patriotic woman of America that I am, that a lot can be lost more than my business or my livelihood. It's about you, Washington, and all the small business owners. So I'm taking my stand and I'm going to uh, stand up for what's right. And hopefully we can make some change. If we all just sit belly up like a frog in a hot tub, it's gonna be a boiling pot. It'll never return to the same. Um, maybe it will never return to the same. They keep talking about the new normal. So my event is on May 16th, it's in one week, on a Saturday. It's at the Pet Biz, 5620 Northeast Gurr Road, and that's spelled G-H-E-R, Road. And I'm in the lower part of the mall in Suite 5. I'm right between Las Flamas Mexican Restaurant and Jay's Bar and Grill. They will have takeout food available during this event. We will be providing bottled water and possibly snacks for whoever shows up. We are anticipating a few hundred. So bring a lawn chair if you plan to stay for a few hours with us and promote this. We're on a big intersection of Fourth Plain, Gurr, and Coxley, which is high traffic. So it might draw a lot of attention. I've already contacted uh, Fox News. We haven't heard from them but more than likely they will be here recording the event. Uh, they are watching a lot of businesses that are opening and rallying and they're showing up to those events. And it's been quite amazing watching how people are standing up for their livelihood. It is a constitutional right that we are to work. It is criminal and against the law for them to arrest us as criminals for wanting to work and support our families. So if, please, if you will take a stand with me, your support is greatly, greatly appreciated. I'm doing this for you, Washington, not just for me, but for you. And then the second note of that, I'm doing it for the pets. I have a story about two pets in particular. One came in for toenail trim because it had been you know, two or three months. 
The toenails were so long that the pressure on the floor as the pet walked, this is a big pet, they were splitting vertically. And you tell me that's not essential. Not only are, are pets essential, but haircuts are essential for people. You are essential. And so we need to fight with that. Our animals are essential. The other pet I shaved was so matted that it shaved off like a rug. The animal had feces stuck all over his bottom, inside the fur, and his mouth was matted shut so he couldn't eat normally. Is that essential? So yes, I'm fighting for this. We can't wait two more months to service our people and our pets. If you can shop at Walmart and Home Depot and Lowe's and stand in long lines for an hour around all these people, four or five hundred people, and they don't spread the virus, why would a mom and pop shop or a groom shop that works by themselves, six dogs a day, that's six customers coming in every two hours, not together, I think we need to fight for our essentials. You are worth it. I am worth it. And the time I'm going to spend fighting for this is going to be worth it, whether we win or whether we, they decide that we don't open. But my cause is for a purpose, and I'm out here to make some noise. So let's band together during this event. And another request I have is if you can afford it, bring a grocery bag with soups, dry food, a bag of rice, a roll of toilet paper, some essentials. I've been meeting families and other people that own businesses that are down to nothing. They're losing everything. One gal told me she's eating rice and green beans. That's it, that's all she has. And my heart hurts for these people. And if we have extra food, let's share. The Pet Biz will become a food bank and we will disperse to some families after our event with the food. So have a great day. We're here peacefully, but we're here with a purpose. And I feel so good after the two, three months we've been waiting to open. My anxiety and my depression over closing my business, I felt like my livelihood was crushed. Well, I'm alive again, and we're going to fight for this. All right, we'll see you on Saturday.